Young people don't listen to public safety messages, so how do you get them to stop being unsafe around trains? By making it the dumbest way to die. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. A song was written called Dumb Ways to Die. It was released as a YouTube video and within a week had over 20 million views and coverage on every television network in the country. A dedicated Tumblr site generated huge and immediate viral effect. Within days, Dumb Ways to Die became the world's most shared video. The song was released on iTunes and climbed the charts in over 20 countries, making its way onto playlists everywhere. Radio advertising was purchased, but this song about rail safety was so popular, radio stations played it for free. Awareness went through the roof, but we had to get people to change their behaviour. So every element of the campaign directly drove people to pledge to be safe around trains. Nearly a million people took the pledge on our website. The little book of dumb ways to die asked kids to take the pledge. Outdoor advertising got people to promise to be safe and generated Instagram-friendly content. A smartphone game also got people to make the promise. And at train stations, a karaoke version of the song played while posters visually reinforced the message. The results? People adopted the rail safety message like never before. Over 200 cover versions were made. Schools started using it as a teaching tool in classrooms. Dumb Ways to Die became the most shared public service campaign in history. And most important of all, the Metro has seen a 21% reduction in accidents and deaths compared to the same time last year. Be safe around trains, a message from Metro.